Hello everybody and welcome to Risk of Rain Returns. This is the remake and modernized version of the original 2D Risk of Rain. Of course, many of you may have seen Risk of Rain 2 on my channel. This is obviously the prequel to that game, the first game in the series, but I never played it on my channel and I actually never even played it personally myself. Um, with it being 2D, I don't know, I just never got into it, but with Risk of Rain Returns, I am really ready to try it because apparently they have done a lot to update this and modernize it, adding features and things and characters from the second game, as well as adding new skills and all this sort of good stuff. It really looks very incredible, so I'm really happy to jump into this and I think if people enjoy this, we could turn it into a little series that we play on the channel for a little while here so let's just jump right into starting the single player um estimated completion time yeah we'll do the tutorial why not um okay we start off as commando here and we can shoot at things like this and then we've got um a right click ability boom so this is all pretty similar to what we know and love now so i can walk through enemies i don't take contact damage that's good to know and we get ourselves a bit of money here. Ooh, yeah, okay. I'm liking this. This is feeling good. It's going to be a little hard to sort of get used to the movement of everything. But I kind of get it. I love it. It's really, really good. And we've got a chest over there as well. We're going to open chests with our money as normal. And we do get level ups as well. It, it basically is all very, very similar to Risk of Rain 2. Just Risk of Rain 2 is a 3D version. And we get ATG Missile there. Yes! ATG Missile Mark 1, baby. Oh, my God. The visual effects in this game as well look just incredible. Like, it's so, like, reminiscent of the old game, but also so stylistic for now sort of thing. Okay. I'm liking this. We always get an equipment drone as well. Hey, we got um, Sawmerang as well. Okay, we can jump up here. Can we Can we get up here then? Oh, these guys are all following me. Oh, okay. Bit of bleed on those guys. Okay, that seems like it's going to be very, very powerful considering enemies line up like they do. And there's our teleporter. I see. Okay. The teleporter we can activate. And this is, again, same. Oh, my God. That boss looks absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, and as as per, we do also have to deal with other enemies at the same time. It's not as simple as um, just fighting a boss in this game. Now, he does seem pretty easy, but that might just be because we're in a tutorial. These guys seem really easy to deal with. ATG Missile doing a great job. The knockback we've got going on right now is actually very, very nice. The boss is taking a lot of damage whenever we hit an ATG Missile, so I'm hoping we can keep that up. There you go. Boss is dead. And we got Brilliant Behemoth as well. Oh, lovely. I wish the tutorial never ended. We got some amazing gear here. I just want to check. Can we, um, can we get up this ladder? No, it's a, it's a prop ladder. Okay, I, th I think it's more of a strut than a ladder. I don't think it's actually something you can climb. But anyways, oopsie. We can go through to complete the tutorial. Lovely. I wonder if you always get the same gear in the tutorial. I imagine so, but Brilliant Behemoth is a, is a nice little taste of what's to come. But let's start single player here. We have two characters to play as. I love, love, love the uh, the Huntress in the uh, second game, so I think I'll go with this. Ooh, do we have... Oh, we have multiple skins off the bat. Okay. What do we want to go with here? I like the blue one. The blue one's cool. And then we do have... Unlockable skills as well here. Uh, difficulty we can change between um, Drizzle, Rainstorm. I really like this interface. Now, a lot of this I'm not going to actually know how much is different from the first game. The interface might have looked exactly like this. I don't actually know. But um, what we're going to find out. We're going to just play this and, and enjoy. Let's jump in. We'll jump in on Rainstorm for now. Um, and we'll have a little look. See, so our skills that we start with. Stray, firing a basic arrow. Um... Throw a glaive that bounces, lovely. Teleport forward a short distance and fire an explosive arrow, cluster bomb. So we don't get rain of arrows as our default here like we normally would. Desolate forest. I'm liking the first stage. First stage is interesting. There's our little blink as well. Now, do we, do we take fall damage in this game? We do not. Okay, good to know. Now, we can use all skills while moving as this character, which is really, really nice. So we probably want to save our other skills for when there's more than one enemy sort of lined up. 
basic arrow, we can just take out enemies like this. But ooh, I'm, I, I can see myself playing a lot of this. I'm liking this. Okay, so let's let's try our explosive cluster. Ooh, that's very good. And we can do our little chakram there. Okay, that's good as well. Oh, I can fire backwards while I'm moving. And then we've got a log there as well. Collect all that money. We've got enough to go open that chest. Let's see what beautiful items we might get here. Now, I wonder how big these stages actually are. Oh, good, 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 good. We got ourselves good old, reliable soldier syringe. Now, items, as they do in Risk of Rain 2, will stack. Okay, let's do some exploring. I'm liking the, um, the vest, like, the vertical sort of way that the levels are designed. Now, is this just a pit? Okay, no, it's not. We get ourselves instant minefield, drop many mines at your feet. I think that's new, or at least... There is going to be some items that are completely new to this game, but there's also going to be some items that were in the first Risk of Rain that weren't in Risk of Rain 2 that will be returning to this. So, it's going to be a little confusing from time to time whether items are new or not. Um, I really like that. Boom. Give me that chest. We've got ourselves Turpa's brooch. That, I believe, is a Risk of Rain 2 item that has come to this game. I don't think this was in the vanilla game. But very, very nice. We can get some barrier. Ooh, we got a little log there. I don't know how exactly we'd get to that. Ooh, hello. Are these little buy stations where you can choose what you want? Got a container. Oh, a bit of healing in the container as well. Wasn't expecting that. That's very nice. That's very nice. Right, let's go up here. Nah, I need to, like... Eh. We got a chest up there and a shrine. We'll take random. Oh, we got the health item anyways. Relieve, uh, get delayed healing after. Oh, it gives an icon as well as to when you're going to get the healing. That's nice. Does all the money just come to us? I need to sort of check on that. It seems to. Now, some enemies are going to have trouble getting to us, I imagine. Beautiful. Yeah, all the money just comes to us. We don't need to worry about that. Right, let's make our way up here and grab whatever these chests are. I don't know if... So, we've got um, one of these chests, which is a damage chest. These got introduced later on to Risk of Rain 2. I don't know if these were always in um, Risk of Rain 1. Uh, we got ourselves a chance shrine. Is, is this a chance shrine? Or is it a chat? I think this might be a challenge shrine, actually. Oh, no. Maybe it's a chance shrine. I'm unsure. But we got ourselves um, lens maker's glasses. Good bit of crit chance. Really good on this character. Really good. Anyways, oh, we got our first champion enemy. Very nice. Make another offering. Oh, and we get ourselves the ability to switch to the foreign fruit, which heals us. Probably a good idea to grab that, to be honest. Uh, but I'm liking our minds right now. Right, let's do some more exploring. Ah, bugger. <laughs> Wait, I did... I, I think I did take fall damage there, unless this guy just uh, hit me right as I fell. That's also very plausible. Nice. What we got here? Summon imps. Um, okay. Let's give it a go. Why not? I see. Okay, I think I just... I think no matter where I shoot, I just shoot at the closest enemy. And we get ourselves drone repair kit. Um, repairs and empowers all... Show me again what that did. Active drones, summons a unique drone to assist you. We don't have any drones right now, but I kind of like the idea of that. We found our teleporter event. Now, the longer we take, the harder the game's going to get. So we don't want to be hanging around too long. Tell you what I would like to see is movement speed. Open this up. More Topaz brooch. Give us that temporary barrier. What the hell's that guy? That's a, that's a new enemy. Oh, you are a new boy. Let's get this drone going. Oh, that drone's pretty powerful. I like it. But yeah, I want to try and explore as much as I can, because I don't know how much we've got on the first stage. It seems pretty big, to be honest. It's pretty goddamn big. 
Now, adding a double jump would be very, very nice here. Yeah, I don't think I need more equipment. I'm pretty happy with the equipment I've got. We'll grab that. I like the fact that they they give healing now. I don't know if they always did in Risk of Rain 1. This is all, all new to me. I'm, I'm going to be discovering the game along with some of you guys that have never played it before as well. Okay, so this has just permanently summoned this drone for me. I didn't think it would. Can I can I use it again to summon another drone? Okay, no, it just heals this one. I thought this drone would only be active while my active item is in use, but it seems permanent. Okay, I'm, I'm sure there's a few more chests we can get around here. I'm going to try and find that. Hey, we, uh... Someone's imp's holding a reward. Enemies drop extra gold. That's pretty good. Right, let's head back towards our teleporter. I think it was over this way. Or was it back over that way? I, I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't remember. But I don't think I'm quite done yet. So these things are kind of gnarly. Things are getting a little bit tricky now. Okay, let's go. Oh, I don't think we went up here before. Let's check what we've got going on all the way up here. There's a, a healing drone. Oh, the healing drones look very, very nice. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've seen everywhere we need to see now. I wonder what these, like, blood coins are. Blood coin looking things. Yeah, I think we're over this way. Oh, we can still use the chance shrine. Hey! An extra use of our secondary skill. That's our chakram. It's good stuff. Okay, so we do definitely take fall damage. I need to be careful of that. Oh, new enemy. Was it over here? There it is, yeah. Okay, see what boss we end up getting, because there's a few different bosses we can see, I'm pretty sure. Magma Worm, okay. Oh, 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 oh my god. Magma Worm looks uh, rather gnarly. Also, kind of hard to hit in 2D. It does give you a little indicator of where it's going to pop up, though, so it's not that bad. Our healing drone's keeping us nice and topped up as well. I was going to just try and maybe pop down some uh, bombs there, but... Seems like we're doing fine. Dude, the amount of money we've gained here is kind of incredible. Oh, hello. Uh, burning Witness. The Worm Eye seems to... S I didn't even get to read that. Worm's Eye seems to still be watching. Rewarding. Okay, we're almost done. So some enemies actually can't get to us in certain locations. Just... Something that I wouldn't have expected. There's a level up there. This barrier is really nice as well. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my health. Okay, we're good to go. Teleport to the next level, and then all of our money now becomes XP. Very nice, very nice. We're into the damp caverns. Very nice. Okay, we start on zero money again here. We got a rebuild. Oh, we got imps. We got imps. These bad boys can teleport. Okay, so I'm guessing the burning imp thing is this uh this eye I got is that flame I just had under my feet. Which seems to be a unique boss item. Which I'm certainly not displeased with. Summon my new drone. Buy as many more drones as I can, I guess. How do I get down here without taking a ton of damage? 
I don't know. It's fine though, it's fine. Damn it. It's gonna be a little bit of a difficulty getting used to the movement of everything. These guys are new. It seems there was a whole lot of nothing over here. Where's our chest at? Fuck! That was a very, very big fall. We get ourselves piggy bank, gain gold over time, that's whatever. Um, this is Razor? Hurt nearby enemies, yeah. Okay, we got mushroomy boys. Hello, my fungal friends. Okay, we've been here. Let's carry on going this way. Repair our drones just in case. I don't actually know what the health is at at the minute. They're doing a good job though, the drones. I like the fact that we've got a little piggy with us. Like all of our items have a visual effect on us. Okay, we're kind of at the, at the edge of the screen now for this area. Get ourselves frost relic, kill enemies around you with icicles. Killing enemies surround you with icicles, sorry, I read that wrong. Bye! Whee! Oh, I love the way all the enemies know what to do with that, that's awesome. Reduce the cooldown of equipment. We got a legendary, baby. We got a legendary. Reduce the cooldown of equipment. And I wonder how much buy. It's a legendary. I'd imagine it's a good bit. There's our freezing icicles. Lovely. We're doing really well at the minute. Really, really well. Don't know if your first run is always easier, like, on purpose or not, but... Our first run's going good. Just need to figure out where more chests are at the minute. I mean, what the hell are these things? They seem very, very tanky, whatever they are. Oh, I see. They're, like, trapped. If you walk past them, they, like, trigger. Intriguing. Right, let's just, just ignore our enemies for a bit now. Okay, have we reached the edge of the screen already? Oh, big chest, big chest. Extra jump, that is very valuable. Good old Herpu Feather. That means we can basically negate all fall damage by, uh, just before we land, jumping. There's our teleporter event, at least. We know where that is. I feel like we've not got many chests so far. There's another one. Uh, war banner, when level and go back to teleport are giving you strength, that's decent. Um, increase health regen, nice. Right, good, good. We need more drones, is what we need. Um, heal after kill, monster tooth is decent for us here. Need to kill that little mushroom dude before he, I guess before he jumps up and he just did. Got a good amount of money now. Another war banner, lovely. And we got boxing glove. Chance of knocking enemies backwards, dealing extra damage. Very nice. Okay, let's do, go do our teleporter event now. I can't believe we got a legendary. I'm so happy with that. Okay, so there's our extra power banner. The Ancient Wisp. Gotta keep a very heavy eye on my HP right now. I'm 
another war banner. I don't know if they stack. I don't think they do. I saw that knockback there, though. We're doing a very good job of killing this guy, to be honest. I don't think we're going to have any issues. Beautiful stuff. Ceremonial Dagger, we got another Legendary. Or at least, Ceremonial Dagger used to be a Legendary. I'm assuming it still is. Yeah, it is. Oh, dude. This is amazing. <laughs> this is such a good run. I'm in love. This game's a lot of fun. I'm liking it. What an entertaining first run to get. Beautiful. Yeah, basically, Ceremonial Dagger, when we kill an enemy, it releases a bunch of daggers that hurt and kill other enemies. So you can just start these really crazy chain reactions. I'm just hoping we can, like, get more drones going. Because at the minute, our active isn't very good. We should probably take a damaging active now that we've got this uh, legendary that reduces the cooldown. Because the cooldown of this one doesn't really matter too, too much. Away we go. Another level up. That's a lot of money. Where to next? The Ancient Valley. The Frozen Tundra. So we've got a big chest right off the bat here. We could just camp out here and wait for enemies to spawn. Oop, I heard something spawn. Ah, it's the bison. How much is this? 320? Okay. We got some frosty boys as well. Okay, they don't seem to charge at you anymore. They just kind of get near you and try and attack you. I'm trying to use my ice spikes whenever I can. It's a little bit dangerous, but I want to give it a go. Right, so we've got a big chest. Another legendary chance to freeze enemies on hit. This is this is getting a bit ridiculous. Maybe your first run's just purposely more generous. Because this is a bit ridiculous. I don't think I've ever had a risk of raid two run that wasn't like a really long run where I had three legendaries this early. This is like unheard of. Right, um, you can't get over there. Right, let's go up. God damn, the movement is like pretty nice. There's a lot of exploring to do. Bustling Fungus, standing still, we get a quick healing. Good old Bungus. What on earth is going on up here? This is crazy, we're so high up. No! So high up. I just want to keep going and find out what the hell's up here. Is it just more chests or... Am I in for a tree? Okay, I took a lot of damage there. Oh god. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Damn it, I died! No! Okay, whatever that electricity dude is, he's very, very strong. Okay, that is that is unfortunate because that was a very, very, very good run. But we'll give it another go. Oh, that is such a bad way. I should have just kept going. I was just curious to try and kill that dude because I was like, oh, he's new. And then he sliced me and put me down to 4 HP. I was going to try and like bustling fungus and just stand still for a bit and um, and like build up some HP, but it just wasn't going to happen. I should have killed those birds before I started climbing, really. I got overconfident, but... It's a new game. I'm going to I'm going to forgive myself for now. I can't reach that roof. I Yeah, I can't I can't reach that roof. Pure. 
Fuck, how am I meant to? Oh, those... you can climb the fucking trees. <laughs> okay. I wasn't aware of that. I was not aware. Oh, what the hell? That's not what I'm meant to do. I'm not a big fan of the fact that there's fall damage, but I kind of get it. It makes sense. Just a little hard to get used to. Right. Grab this bad boy at least. Another legendary. ATG Missile Mark II. Because this game just throws legendaries at you, apparently. That's just the deal in this game. At the minute, we don't have any way of, like, reliably healing. It's just slow regen. Which means that, like, yeah, these drops are just really brutal. Got a first bit of, uh, equipment. We get ourselves this again. I mean, it's not bad at all having this extra drone that just kind of sticks around. Yeah. ATG Missile Launcher. Very, very good. Another chest here. Lovely. Uh, hurt enemies by falling. Okay, that's that's a new one. That's interesting. What we got over here? Another chest. Lovely. It slams you up too high. Bustling fungus. I'm sorry, but bustling fungus ain't really my jam. I'm basically never going to use that. But yeah, we got to be aware that it's it's a hell of a lot easier to die in this game. A hell of a lot easier to die. Okay, almost up to 30. Really, he managed to dodge that entire explosive shot. Crit maker's glasses, or lens maker's glasses, sorry. Gotta love crits. Right, up we go. Hey, another big chest. Wasn't expecting that. Don't fucking stop dodging my shots, this goddamn... Goddamn thing. Another legendary. I had two extras to your utility, um, and what's the other thing? Reduce utility skill cooldown. Basically, we can dash a hell of a lot more now. Good stuff. Good stuff. War banner. War banner's fine. Not a great position for a war banner there. Right, let's go find out what else we can find here. I'm sure there's a little bit more on this stage left for us. Uh, maybe we'll go up here and come to the left, because I don't think we checked up here. Like, on these bits. See what's what. I like the fact that we can like dash in the air now. Unfortunately, there wasn't really much up here. Yeah. Lower cooldown on that. I've been able to dash multiple times is very, very nice. We'll check up here. I would like a double jump on top of that though. Because this is where we started. I don't think we're going to find too much else here. There's bells going off there. For whom the bells toll. Ow. Dude, the, the fall damage is brutal. It's very hard to avoid in certain areas. I think we went over this way. I need a healing drone again. That thing was amazing. Okay, so there, there you go. We found that. So there'll probably be a chest or two over this way. And then we can come back to that. Got a 
the healing chest thing up here. Hey, I've got an equipment chest. I'm also going to take that equipment chest because we've used this thing, this drone thing before. We want something new. We get ourselves. Unlocks all chests within 20 meters. Okay, that's very good. <laughs> Chance to launch a mortar. Okay, this thing screwed us pretty hard. Ah, damn it. I got an unlock for that, though. Goat hoof. Good old Paul's goat hoof. Right, back we go. Glad to have another legendary on board, though, already. Two legendaries. It's just... I don't know if it's, they're just a lot more common or what. Maybe I'm lucky. Wandering Vagrant. The classic. The classic boy. We should go down very quickly, to be honest. With the setup we've got going on. Our health is going down very, very quickly, though. I'll tell you that from nothing. We should have no survivability at the minute. There we go. And he gave us... Best served cold. Unfortunately, it's an active item. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go, see what it does. Yeah, I'm not going to take that over this. The key seems way better. Ooh, that launching mortar thing's pretty good. I like that. Pretty good. I think I'm getting healing from these war banners as well, which is kind of nice. This game feels really good to play. Also, our fire rate in these war banners is very high. Oh, maybe it's bustling fungus healing, is actually. Oh, no, no. We, we do get healed inside the war banners as well. Right, away we go. Good stuff. Back to the damp caverns. I wonder if there's random floors or unlockable floors later on. Right, remember we've got this thing that allows us to unlock chests. See what chests we can find. Oh bugger. Did a hundred damage! That's fucking brutal! <laughs> it's gonna be really hard for me to get used to. What's this? Oh, I got a little drone sort of buddy guy. He's gonna punch things for me. I'm unsure, but he's he's joined the fight. Well, there's a chest. Attacking enemies heals you. Okay, leeching seed. That's good stuff. That's some survivability we're looking for right about now. Okay, what we got going on over here? A little chest over here. Nice. Um, falling to low health stops time. That's very nice. That would have helped last time. I like this little drone buddy I've got going on here. Seems cool. I think he beats things up for me. Okay, so teleport us basically all the way at the end. We can't get that unless we've got more jumps. Alright, keep moving around this way. Nothing over here. Oh, bugger. Do you know what? I'll kill you. Why not? Give it a bit of a nuisance. Can I seriously not jump for that? There you go.
I love that like all the spawn animations and stuff for all the enemies is so goddamn smooth. Right, I think we've seen bit pretty much everything on this level now, so we want to go back all the way to the right to um, grab that three chest thing. Also, this drone, which is very expensive for some reason. I'll most certainly grab a... Th is it a rocket drone? Is that why? Looks to be, yeah. And we got to get 90. I don't, I don't know if my key will work on this, but I'm going to try it anyways. No, it doesn't. Uh, I want to take this for the healing. I think we're out of here now. It's going to take us a little while to get back to the teleporter, though, because I don't particularly remember where it was. I just know it was over this way. I think it was all the way down to the left. Drop. Am I going the right way? There it is, yeah. I thought so. Okay, we're good. What boss we got this time? Ancient Wisp again. Don't know how we'll fare this time. Luckily, we do have War Banner, plus the extra fire rate, plus Leeching Seed to heal us. I say that and immediately my health is very low. We got him. And we got Boxing Glove out of that guy. We get heals on kill as well, which is very nice. God damn. It's a lot of fun. Oh, it actually tells you how much time is left. Nice. I didn't realize that before. Gotta wait 90 whole seconds. The amount of money that we gain here, look. I'm liking the fact that Monster Tooth just, like, the orbs just come to you. In the, uh, second game, you have to pick them up. It makes Monster Tooth not that good. I mean, this game is kind of ace. Right, here we go, we've done it. A few more seconds. Good bit of XP. Sunken Tombs. Okay, this is different than last time, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Sunken Tombs is not where I ended up last time. Can we go underwater in this stage? It looks like it. Okay, so go another one of these guys. Some dude seems scary. Some sort of shielded bloke there. Damn it. Okay, let's go into water. There's no fall damage here, lovely. Nice to see. Ooh, it's quite a deep underwater area here. And nothing over this side. Ooh, big old snail boy. I wonder how we can get to all these secrets here. Another one here, look. Oh, there you go. Okay, that was easy. Oh, ah, oh, fuck, I fell off again. I see. I just teleports you back up. This is more of a secret area than an actual area with items. Alright, we've got plus... We well, need to give one drone for whatever this is. I'd kind of rather not give the drone that I have. Recycle drone. I wonder how that works. Is that something in the vanilla get in the, the uh, risk of rune too? I don't remember. Oh shit. That's cool. Okay, those guys are a bit chonky, a bit difficult. So there's that teleporter event. We got a random item in here, which I just goddamn missed. Big old crab.
Don't know what I got there. Increased health regen is probably not bad. Probably not the best thing I could have got. Though. Dude, I keep falling. At least it doesn't do damage to you this time around. The big old Krabbits. Okay, I can't actually go back the way that I came, so I've got to go this way. My punchy boy is doing a good job there. Okay. There's got to be a lot more area with chests, because at the minute I found basically nothing. I need more. So let's take this onto this. Okay, so there isn't actually that much of this stage that's above the water, to be honest. You start above the water, but that seems to be about it. Oh, bugger, I missed. Didn't say there was a gap there. Okay, there's, there's like... Damn it. Like, I can make this. This is the only area we haven't been, I think, and then we're back over to teleport. It's a kind of a small stage here. Not really had any re big reason to use our uh, key. We did manage to get two chests in one there. Oh, we got another chest over there, apparently, as well. Good old gasoline. More mysterious vial. Whoa, that guy just yeeted himself off the edge there. That's pretty funny. What the hell's going on up here? Oh, it's... It's a big boy. Is this just another boss? Or is that just a smaller version of the Vagrant? Or is that a Vagrant? Oh, we reached low health and stopped time. Infusion. Killing enemy permanently increases your health. Okay, that's useful. Okay, one of my drones is rather unhealthy right now. I think we've basically done all we can do here. Is this another drone? I think my beefy boy, my, my, my muscle, my muscle kid is, uh, is dead. It's 700 for this thing. Oh, these things are well annoying. They're armored and they, like, just hop around. Okay, we're almost got enough. Four drones at once. Now now I want the other active item. Because <laughs> I could heal all these drones and make sure they don't die. Okay, teleporter event. We got big old dude. We just annihilated that guy's health bar. I don't know where you're going, lad. Because you, I was gonna say you can't get back up to me. Apparently, you can. What in the hell? I am dead. <laughs> God damn, that floor is hard. That pulse go hoof. We got the backup. Nice. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it there for this episode. But I am very, very, very happy with this game right now, and I think we're gonna play it a lot, lot more. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.